Now that the FDA has approved the use of chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine for the treatment of coronavirus, I'm going to explain you what are the mechanism of these drugs for the treatment of NCOV. Okay, so uh, actually there are two theories which I'm going to explain here. The first, okay, so here we have a coronavirus uh, with these S proteins on its surface and a viral RNA. The coronavirus binds with this receptor on the cell surface of the cell this is angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor and after binding with this receptor it will undergo a receptor mediated endocytosis and form this endosome here now after this some lysosomal cells here they will come and they will fuse with this endosome forming endolysosome and these lysosomal cells they have uh, some lysosomal enzymes here and these lysosomal enzymes will activate this S protein here and that will lead to the release of viral genome into the cytoplasm okay so there will release of viral RNA into the cytoplasm now this RNA will be acted upon by these proteins here okay so these proteins are called rdrp or rna dependent rna polymerase now what do these proteins do is that they make a copy of these rna so they will make a several copies of these rna and also they will make some viral proteins here now if you combine the viral rna with the viral proteins they will form a complete virus right so will form a complete coronavirus and that's how the virus replicates inside our cell and now these viruses they will form multiple copies of themselves and they will burst out of the cell thus killing the host cells. Now the first mechanism of chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine is at this stage right here. The lysosomal enzymes they require lower pH to work inside this endosome okay. So the drugs chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine they being, uh, being a weak basis, they will increase the pH and they won't allow these lysosomal enzymes to function, thus uh, preventing the release of viral RNA inside the cytoplasm. Now, another mechanism is that they act as a zinc ionophore. Now, zinc, uh, the, the zinc can deactivate this enzyme, the RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, thus preventing the replication of viral RNA. So the gene can prevent RNA, uh, sorry, RNA replication by de deactivating this enzyme right here. But zinc ions, as being positively charged, they cannot easily get inside this of these cells, as there are neutral phospholipids, you know, lining these cells here. So, so uh, they require some form of transport mechanism to get inside of these cells. So that's where the function of uh, chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine comes. So they act as a zinc ionophore. So they create this channel right here, the drugs. We have chloroquine and, and hydroxychloroquine. So these drugs will create a channel through these lipid bilayers through which zinc ion being positive although being positively charged can get, now get inside of this cell and it can act on these enzymes and prevent the replication of viral RNA and that's how the virus cannot get multiplied inside the cells and its effect cannot be seen.